Yo, 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 what's going on? Shaman Accord here. Uh, today I got a little bit of a different gameplay for you. It's going to be uh, a Game Battles match. Uh, I have running with my man here, P Money. I'm running with Puma X. And it's just, it was a three on three we did last night. Uh, this was on the map Quarry, as you can easily see. Um, we actually went into it without really any plans at all. We were, as soon as we get in the game, we're like, oh, which way are we going to go? You know, with two seconds left, we're trying to figure out what we're going to do here. So we go in there. I'm like, look, dude, I'm going to hold down the middle. You know me. I'm going to do my thing. That's about right. Now you got to understand, these guys, for the most part, I'd say good 85% of the time, they only play Black Ops, and they usually only play Black Ops game battles. But they did ask me if I would play with them and Fuzzy and pick me up as uh, another uh, person for their team. So, sure, let's do this. And I played about, I don't know, five matches with them. We're not the best team in the world. We have won, obviously, a few of the things. We just need a lot of practice together, you know? It's, and that's what it really comes down to. As you can see, I'm usually working my normal route here. I'm in the middle. What happens is I made some shots on some people and I said, look, I've got to move. Because a lot of people here uh, just always forget to when you shoot, you've got to keep moving. And uh, when you kill somebody, get the hell out of there because they know where you are on the map. You know, I see a lot of people, whether it's in game battles or not, that shoot their guns and then stay within 20 feet of where they just shot a guy. And they're getting, the other team is, you know, coming down on them like there's no man's business. They're like, Oh shit, well we know where the guy is, let's come for him, and the guy's just squashed in there between two or three guys, just gonna get raped. And it happens all the time, you just sit there and bang your head on the wall like, what the hell were you thinking? Alright, on this one, we're actually, we made it the last call, I was like, alright, well we'll go B then. You notice I have the bomb and I send him in. I'm like, dude, there's somebody in there, there's somebody in there, I did see him going across the bridge, so now I'm just waiting on him, I'm like, well maybe he'll come up top, and I'll be able to catch him up here again. You see, I'm sitting here waiting on him, I'm like, well maybe he'll come to the window. So I said, nah, I'll go around, and I screw up, I drop down, I'm like, oh my god, these guys got headphones, I am done, right here. There, they don't, I don't understand why, you see, he's pushed in for the other side, you always gotta work together, guys, this is game battles, this isn't a fun anymore, you have to work together. You see, we're, we're, uh, we swarmed in from both sides, we didn't give him a chance to run, ring around us, you see, I'm also checking the windows, because you know every little kid is going to be up there, there's a damn fucking window sitting there. I'm giving myself a last few seconds check. They heard the bullets. They might be coming. I heard the shots now. I know generally he is. Boom. Complete it's mission. game over now. Now all I got to do is throw this thing down. What I'm doing, though, is I'm like, hell no. Remember, guys, I just told you. I said, don't stay stagnant. The other guy knows I just shot a guy there, so he's like hauling ass towards me. You, If I would have stayed there, I would have been done for. Easily. I might have had the bomb down, but he would have flashed the shit out of me and it would have been game over. So here's what I normally do. After I plan it, if I'm going to A, I get the hell out of there. I'm talking, I get way back. You see more scrubs and noobs just out there, and they don't understand what's going on, and they'll sit like 10 feet from the bottom in the corners. You really, really cannot do this, especially in game battles. So get yourself in a point where you're wedging yourself in between them and the bomb. I'm going to purposely put myself back so far where he's not going to easily find me, but at the same time, I'm going to be able to see him if he comes in. See, I saw him right there. But I did not want to give myself away. You see, if I would have missed those shots, it would have been all game over. You see, I did miss, so now I've got to get in a better spot. He's throwing a nade at me. I'm going to use the rocks. I'm going to keep working the rocks. Like a big girlfriend, I'm going to get up on her ass, and I'm going to sit there and run circles around it. I am not going to let him get a chance to get at me and get a clean shot at me. And the fact is, I kept him away from the bomb long enough. Whether I would have died or not, it doesn't matter about the deaths in game battles. It's only about the W, and that's just how I play. I don't care if I would have died. It would have been like, oh well, it happens, no big deal. So here I am on my typical rush. I have, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Puma's watching the right and P Money watching the left here. He's on up on that left side. You know me. I'm in my middle spot here. Watching it, I'm going pew 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 pew, pew waiting on guys, and I'm like, uh, oh, nobody's ever coming, nobody's coming. Didn't mean to get on that ladder, it's gay ass fucking gameplay shit that always makes you jump up there. Um, you see, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm like, dude, there's nobody even coming. These guys aren't even pushing. As a matter of fact, the whole team map we played with these guys, the both maps actually, because we easily won 2 0. They were always basically camping in the back, like we're playing some kind of pug, and then they finally move up with like 30 seconds left, and by then, we're already figured out where they were, and we just, you know, swarmed them. 
and just shot him out like instantly. Uh, you see, I'm still having to wait here. The problem with GB is it gets a little slow, a little boring once in a while, especially when people don't try. They might as well put quick scopes on and started doing 360s in their spawn. You see, I'm like, okay, what's going on? My teammates are per call constantly calling out where they, they know we are, so I said, look, I'm going to fall back now and help you out. See, I'm going to say, I'm going to watch the left ravine. I make sure nobody's going to come from the rocks to be. And they say, all right, cool. You see, I'm just, we're still waiting here. I've got a man up there on the left. He's in the rocket room. And I'm like, up, oh, he's down. So now I'm going to watch this rock. See, he can't see this angle at me. He can't even get on the rocks unless he's right over me. He can't see me. You'll see, actually, I see him, and I call him out. I'm like, dude, he's on top of the rocks by the gas tanks, and I said, I'm not going to make a shot and give myself away. Because I know for a fact this guy has no idea where I am. I know where he is, but he has no idea where I am. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up there, and I want to go up that ramp on the left-hand side, and I want to put myself now in a new spot where he can't make it at me. See, I'm like, boom, got one. And he's screaming at me. He's like, oh, shit, there's one up there still. Well, he didn't know there's actually a third. There was three here. You see, I'm blinking him, I just can't put him down, it's like, dude, dude, he's in that little crack, throwing out my Semtex, trying to get a little bit hit on him, thinking I might get lucky and pick it up, I'm trying to get a better angle at him, I know the guy's up there, spray guys, I don't care what you're doing, if you're in this kind of spot, you spray, spray and pray, because he might stick his head out and get caught up instantly, because he'll walk right into those bullets, now remember, I generally know where this guy is, so I'm going to put myself in a good little spot here, you see, I'm just going to wait him out, I'm just going to hope he has to come to me. I'm like, all right, guys, I'm just going to wait him out. You see, I gave him barely any view on me. You stay back. Don't hug a wall when you're going to uh, lean it. Stay pretty far back. Well, there's five or six feet. So basically, you're giving yourself even a smaller body shot on you. I barely gave him anything on me. See, he plants it. I see him sneak out, so I'm not going to shoot at him. I never, ever shoot and give myself away. He makes a mistake in making a noise. I'm right on his ass. He sits right in there and boom. I'm pre-fired. You see the pre-fire, guys? Many people will not pre-fire an Xbox, and I just don't know why. You know a person's there. Pre-fire before you come around a wall. Pre-fire if you think they're in behind that wall. Whatever. You'll get and get the kill eventually. You see, I don't fool around. I'm not one of those 10-year-old little kids. I'm going to sit there and spin with a bomb, jump up and down. One, it's showing off in game battles, and you don't want to get in trouble for that. But two, I'm mature enough. If we win 4-0 or whatever, you know what? We win. I don't I don't care. We're here for game battles and we're players to play straight. They call A Rush. I'm like, okay, it's a little late for that now, but you see I'm sitting there waiting back a little bit. Because I don't want somebody to come across in the same area I'm normally at. So if he gets shot at, I'm, I can be there to block him instantly. Uh, but obviously we're at the bridge over the overpass bridge thing there. So now I'm like, uh, okay, I'm gonna come from around and try and uh, cut him off because more than likely, you're going to have the other teammates coming out, and they're going to be like, Oh, no, come and help me, help me, the Russian A. So I wanted to catch a few guys that were actually running there themselves. You see, I'm waiting it out, I'm waiting it out, I'm wanting to see if anybody's going to run from the big building, come straight into A, bail out my teammates. Now, I'm in A, and they've switched to B for some reason. I was like, dude, what are y'all doing? You see, I put them down, I'm like, okay, one down, I'm like, dude, A is clear, guys, A is clear. They end up going to B, and I'm, I have no idea why. And I'm like, guys, A is open. I don't know why you left, because I cleared it out for you. He ends up dying. But basically now I've taken out two guys at A now, and there's one left. And I'm like, God, if you just brought it to A, it would have been fine. So you see, I've, I put shots on him. I miss him. It's my own fault. I'd stay hitting the reload. I grabbed the dumb ACR, which I don't really care about, because I haven't fall out anyways, and it's easy to use. It's point and shoot. So now I've got to make it all the way over to B, because and he has the advantage because you know what he's watching the bomb. Little did I know he was going to be camping in that spot waiting on it. Uh, I should have looked a little faster, but I was in a rush thinking he was going to beat me to the bomb, and he beat me to that spot. No big deal. It happens. You know what? I'm doing fine. We're up three one. Let's finish it out. Let's close the eyes. Home. I'm in there. I'm trying to hype up my team. I'm like, let's get it done. Go in. Let's get it done. Let's win this stuff. Here we go again, it's a cool, uh, straight up the middle rush, and I'm feeling a little cocky, I'm like, you know, I might end up pushing this, I might not, but I'm going to play it right, I'm not going to play it like a pub, just even though we're up 3-1, maybe for a 3-0 I'd rush a little bit harder and push them up and see what they could actually do. Um, I'm hearing the call from my man, they're telling me again, they're on the left side, 
of the map, which is of where P Money is, is in the rocket room. You see me waiting over here. I'm like, uh, nope, nope, nobody's here. Puma's saying, look, dude, there's nobody over here. You can see him actually moving up because he said, I'm going to move up and I'm going to push their spawn. So now I hear the flashes on the left hand side. Puma's pushing up on the map because he wants to push their spawn and squeeze them out. That's a good play. That way, if they try and swing back towards uh, the other way, going to A, they're going to catch his bullets right away. Now, I'm going to lob that grenade up there in the fact that maybe, you know, you know what, they're probably pushing the stupid uh, gas tanks again. Let, let me push up the ramp here very slowly. Now, what I, you see what I'm doing? I'm giving myself hardly any body to be able to be shot at. By the time they can see me and get a good shot on my head, I already have their full body in spot. Now... Uh, eventually a guy will come here so bear with me here I'm waiting it out I'm telling them look let's put him in a squeeze we've got him by two or three different directions they have no way out now they're flashing they're flashing they're just sitting there wasting their time basically and boom gone I, he had to come at me there was no way out I left them no means of escape now I'm gonna check the rocks what I'm doing here is I'm checking the rocks see if they might went to the middle rocks and I'm staying back never ever get right in the window Stay as far as you possibly can back because what you're doing is you're putting shadows on yourself. It's just like in the military, they'll teach the snipers to stay back from a window and then never get in a window. They'll put right, up that, uh, uh, like a little uh, see-through cloth up there. Uh, and what that happens is they can't be seen through it and it puts shadows right on the window. And then they sit back about 10 feet off the window and actually take the shot from back there because obviously it's going to go right through that little sheer uh, cloth that they have. It's going to make the shot. And then they uh, double D out of there. They're gone. You see, I'm waiting on them. I'm like, eventually what's going to happen is, remember, their guys are all pinched in this left-hand side. My teammate's falling all the way back. He said, I'm going to watch A. I said, fine, I got B, no big deal. What happens is now I saw him. I said, look, dude, he's coming around. He fell back there, and he's going to come around. He said, I see him at A. I was like, cool. So he actually went through. I decided to screw around just a little bit. I know I shouldn't know if that's why I was going to let him plant it, and I was like, dude, I don't want to get caught accused of being shot out. Thanks for watching. This is RGB team and enjoy the night.